Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have this time is a really cool, interesting, unusual knife. So comes in a presentation box, so hence the, the look here. So this is the Saji Rainbow Damascus Algami or Blue Number no. 2 Petty 150 millimeter knife. So it comes in a presentation box and a, and a uh, cardboard sleeve, paper sleeve. So we'll pull this out of here. So definitely upscale right off the bat with your presentation here. So a little red felt line box there. So we'll set that off to the side. So this is the knife. It is a very, very interesting knife. Um, it, um, let me just show you a quick close-up of it right off the bat. It's a bit of a polish to it, so it's a little tricky to show, but you can check out those different colors in there. So uh, the rainbow comes from uh, the cladding, multi-layers of cladding that have stainless brass and copper in it to give you those three different looks. And it looks like it has some etching going on as well. So the core steel on this is Awagami or blue uh, paper number two, reactive high carbon steel. He treats around 62 to 63 Rockwell. And again, this cladding is a combination of various metals to uh, give you those different colors peeking out, hence the word rainbow. It's definitely apropos. Um, so the uh, weight and dimensions will vary a little bit from knife to knife. This one's 154 grams or 5.4 ounces. And part of that weight is the iron wood on the handle, which is a dense, heavy uh, wood. The edge length is just about 150, about 5.9 inches from the tip to the back of the heel. The overall length is about 10.4 inches or 265 millimeters. And then the spine thickness, these have, uh, these are fairly stiff blades. So the spine coming out of the handle, the bolster is about uh, 2.2 millimeters and I measured it about halfway down at 1.9. And then it thins down a little but you'll see that tip doesn't get super skinny. So it's got some meat behind the tip. Uh, the kind of the contours here is just kind of a continuous flow and curve ground down to the edge so it's it's not a like a discrete shoulder you'll suddenly see a blade road in a shoulder so you've got kind of a continuous contour convex down from the spine all the way to the edge so it's a very well crafted knife uh, the edge has some meat behind it as well so this knife has a stout kind of feel to it um, let's see You've got uh, the blade height is about 33.3 millimeters on this particular one. The handle is uh, ironwood and it is a full tang construction. You've got stainless rivets and this mosaic rivet in the middle or pin. You've got a stainless steel bolster here as well. Nicely polished all the way around. So fit and finish is excellent on these. You've got a rounded spine, polished spine, and the little choil in the back here. I'd say these were seven out of 10 out of the box. The edge was very, very sharp. And there's different grits. So on one side was a, a more shiny bevel than the other. So they had two different grits used here for one for a higher polish and one for more tooth. Uh, again, it's, it's a pretty stiff blade. It's a little bit flatter on the right side as far as the grind, and there's a little bit more contour on the left side of the blade. Not a big deal with this style of blade, but very nice fit and finish. Let's look at it here for our beauty shot. And so you've got some kanji on there. They aren't chiseled. It looks like it's kind of embossed. It's nicely done. It's very clean, but it's not a chiseled finish. Maybe that's due to the type of cladding they put on here. They chose not to do that, but it's very cleanly done. No, no kanji or anything on the left side of the blade, but you can see those layers there, and you can actually kind of feel them with your finger. It's a really cool presentation. This is a really pretty blade in person. It's a little hard to try to show you all this over a video, but if you kind of look at those contours, you can really see those layers and feel those layers. It's just really neat. It's really cool. This is a neat blade. So uh, let's see, balance point, it's a heavy handle, it's a small blade, so your balance point is going to be way back here. This thing has just a solid stout feel to it. And if you're on the cutting board, let's see what it looks like. 
So it's not a ton of clearance here for your fingers, but you could always work this off the edge of a board or if you're on a, a edge of a countertop if need be. Here's what the profile looks like. It's uh, You can see it's quite pointed towards the tip, so that tip should work nicely for details and so on. But here's your general profile. So just a very, very interesting offering from Saji. So this is the Saji Rainbow Damascus Aogami or Blue Number no. 2 Petty 1 50mm knife.